right, everybody, what is going on? We're hopping into the 200% level 10 links easy a showcase for LR UI Goku over here on global. I believe I already have a video up on this guy from whenever he got his easy a on JP, but here he is now on global. I've got a little bit of a better account on here, so I'm going to get a bit of a better showcase here. Um, this is my build that I have on UI Goku. I do just have his special equipment on him. I, I don't know that the extra defense is really going to make a huge difference on him. Uh, but I figure it might against normals. Uh, the way I see it with this UI Goku, right, is that I don't really ever need him to eat a super attack. I need him to dodge those. And, and he's going to be pretty well suited for that. Uh, but potentially, if he were to eat, like, a normal attack, uh, I want him to be able to tank those. So I'm, I'm thinking that defense potentially could help him there. Uh, more importantly, I do have basically full dodge in his base hidden potential system otherwise, and then as far as his, you know, equipment goes, we just have these, so that's why he's got, like, extra additional, everything like that going on. Uh, you do not need to give this Goku crit, the only crit that I have on this guy is from this skill orb right here, that, that is the only crit I have on the character. Uh, the reason for that is because at 24 key, these guys do get guaranteed critical hits, so... Uh, do not need to give them crit and then they also just have 50% chances to crit built in on their super attack effects and those stack together So if you get a double super attack with these characters, uh, which by the way, they have built in additionals It's gonna be a guaranteed crit after you get two procs of 50% to go up So uh, UI Goku here is starting out at 344 K defense now Here's the thing that we found out uh, recently or at least we got confirmation that it is how it worked uh, some people knew about this back whenever it was a thing, but um well, this has always been a thing, but people have just the the dodge stacking. Let's just let me shut up and talk about it So Goku Goku starts out with a 77% chance to dodge and every time he dodges an attack on the turn He gets an additional 7% chance to dodge and that actually does stack so right now He's got a 77% chance. Well, actually, I'm sorry on the on his very first appearance and after he revives He gets a 100% chance to dodge so regardless we actually have a 100% chance on our first turn but if it was turn three or turn after um, he gets a 77% chance to dodge, and every time you dodge, that goes up. So after one dodge, it goes up to 84, after two, it goes up to 91, after three, it goes to 98, and then after that, you have guaranteed dodging. So you get four dodges off with this guy, and suddenly you have a 100% chance to dodge character, which is very, very good. Um, again, 344k defense right here. Um, that's, you know, he does get, um, extra defense with each attack evaded, and then he does get defense on... No, he doesn't. He does not get defense on his super attack effect. That's right. He only gets the extra 150% uh, from dodging. And then he does get additional stats after he revives, but not something we need to really about, really worry about here. Um, I will keep uh, Beast on rotation, I think is what I'll do, uh, since we have these guys coming onto the next rotation. I don't know. I, I just don't want Vegeta to steal the show. Like, I mean, this makes for an awesome rotation right here uh, because we do have six out of seven links activated with Vegeta. Well, actually... We have six out of seven activated with uh, both of these guys right here. So uh, anyway, surely Vegeta won't steal the show right here. Uh, we'll give him all of these, all of that key right there. Uh, I'll put UI Goku in the second slot. Just pot be potentially there's more attacks right there. So it could get UI Goku more built up. We're also at six out of seven links activated. Um, again, he's going to get 30% defense after every attack that he dodges. Let me shut up and let's just go ahead and get going right here. So um, again, these units are great. I will give Vegeta his own video. I might do it on the Maj- not Majin Vegeta, the, the tech, um, Saiyan Saga Vegeta. I'll probably do his showcase on that team, just because, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I want to do it on that team, first of all. Um, but two, it's just like, it, it's a different team that maybe we haven't seen as often. The really cool thing about Vegeta is that he is on a ton of teams, and he's a huge help to all of them, being like the second or third best unit in the game still. I mean, just like absolutely incredible unit this Vegeta is. Same thing with UI Goku. He is also on a huge amount of teams in the game. Uh, that's some of the like biggest value that you're going to get out of both of these characters is that both of them just have like a ton of categories and they don't really have any restrictions or build up. Well, I mean, I guess they both have a little bit of build up, but they don't have any like restrictions. Like, like you don't need to... Like, they just work. They just work, all right? Tom Howard says they just work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. We'll come back whenever Goku is back on rotation. All right, everybody, we are back, and uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This has been very, very scuffed. Um, I, like, I, <laughs> it's, it, it listen, it, it's been rough. It's been rough. Uh, hang on, real quick. Okay, so, we're back. L let me give you a quick rundown of what just happened, because there's probably going to be a cut right there. Well, I mean, well, there's going to be a cut there anyway, so that's good. Um, 
So right after I paused the recording, uh, what happened, my Elgato just started going red. Uh, it, the light. So normally it's supposed to be blue when you're recording, like with OBS and stuff. Uh, and it, it went red, and it stayed red, and I unplugged it, I restarted my PC, I restarted my phone. I um, actually drove to Best Buy like 15 minutes before they closed and bought a new cord because some people said, oh, like the cord that comes with the Elgato, it, it just may be trash. So I went and I bought a new cord. Uh, and then it still wasn't working, but, uh, just by a sheer black magic sorcery right here, it turned blue. So I'm going to try to get some videos recorded. Uh, ho hopefully you guys don't mind if these are a little bit scuffed. Um, but, oh, up oh, there, <laughs> haha, that, that's real funny. It, it makes me real nervous now when the cord goes out. Let, let's, that, that, oh, hang on. Okay. So we're back. Uh, I'm going to have to, so I accidentally hit, so. Also, um, in an effort to try to fix this, I updated OBS, and the buttons are, like, different than how they used to be. It's like the pause button is a lot smaller now, so I accidentally hit stop recording instead of pause. So that's going to have to get used to that. That that really sucks. I, I do this new... Oh, I'm just here to complain. Okay, listen, if you want the UI Goku Showcase, jump forward. I, I'm going to be complaining for, for a little bit right here, okay? Technology sucks ass, okay? Well, like, listen, whenever you got a UI that is good, don't change it, okay? Stop. Nobody wants you to change the UI. Stop doing that. I don't know who's getting paid to do that. Fuck you. Stop it. Stop changing UIs, okay? Like, we, we, we don't need it. We don't. We don't want it, okay? Stop. Stop doing that, okay? Jesus. I don't know who needs to hear that, but... That's my, that's my boomer rant for you, okay? Um, by the way, notice how UI Goku has a lot less key um, on this rotation than he did previously. On his first turn, he does get an extra 7 key. Um, so that's obviously we've lost the effect of that now because it's no longer his first turn. Um, he does build up key. He builds up 2 key up to 10 uh, with each attack evaded. So he needs to do 5 dodges in order to fully build up his key. Um, unfortunately, though, we did end up killing Go or Goku last rotation, and we're probably going to kill him again right here. So, uh, that is, again, unfortunate, but, you know, it's just a side effect of these showcases. That's okay, though. We'll be able to get his 12-key super attack animation in the video right here, uh, and, and we'll keep going with the showcase. So, again, I, I apologize for some profan profanity in this video. Uh, just me being very, very frustrated with technology right now. Um... You know, listen, you know, sometimes I just, you like, you gotta vent. You can't hold that within you, right? Like, you can't, you can't keep that rage, that anger burning within you. You gotta get it out, and you gotta get around, get it out around people who you enjoy being around, so. I, I enjoy being around you, chat. I'm gonna pause. This time, we're not gonna drive to Best Buy. We're not gonna get a new cord, and I'll be right back. And hopefully, God Goku has a health bar whenever we return. All right, and we are back on rotation. Uh, we do have UI Goku's active skill. We finally got some attacks that UI Goku is going to be able to dodge here. So, again, not going to be able to get up to 24 key right here because we haven't gotten enough dodges in yet. Again, I, I can only work with what's around me. Uh, we do have support up from Krillin and 18, so we're at 390k defense. Again, obviously not the best ever, um, but he does have a 77% chance to dodge, uh, and now he's got an 84% chance to dodge, so... Uh, with, like, him having that stacking dodge chance, his defense really isn't going to matter all that much. Um, this UI Goku is probably... If I said he was the best unit in the game at 55%, would that be that crazy? Like, if I said this guy at 55% was better than Beast Gohan at 55%, would would you guys agree with that? How would you feel about that? I, I, I It might be a little bit closer, and it would probably def defend, defend, depend on the fight. But UI Goku at 55% has access to, like, guaranteed crits. He's got the 77% chance to do an additional attack. And he's got the, um... Did I already say the crits? The crits, the additionals, and the 77% chance to dodge. All at 55%. Like, that's incredible, right? Like, like the, he, he does it all at a really high level at 55%. So, uh... That, that's pretty good. So, I don't know. Like, Beast is probably better at 55%. But... Like, I could definitely see the argument being made for UI Goku over Beast, specifically at 55%. Um, especially against some of, like, the really hard bosses that do a ton of damage these days. I, you know, I, I could see it. Because 55% Beast probably could take damage outside of his active skill turn um, in some of these fights now. Just, just, like, not a lot of damage, but he could probably take some, depending on if his intro is up or not, how long you've been in the fight, things like that. Whereas UI Goku could just simply dodge it 
uh, you know, so I don't know. It, it, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, I am going to go ahead and drop the Gamma standby right here. I won't show you guys this, but I'll just show you me getting the exchange. Um, that way, you know that we do have the Gamma's two-turn support activated now. Um, if Well, not yet, but after the Gamma's super attack, um, once they go into Gamma 1 right here, uh, Gamma 1 on his 18 key super attack raises super class allies defense by 50% for two turns. That is a huge buff for UI Goku uh, because UI Goku doesn't get defense on his super attack effect. And that's where that buff plays in. So it's a direct 50% buff to UI Goku's defense. So whatever his defense normally is, that is now going to multiply it by a direct 1.5. So buffs like that are going to be hugely massive for UI Goku. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab these orbs for the gammas, or well, for the gamma. Uh, and then I will go ahead and cut, and then we'll come back. So I just want to show you guys, we are getting the 18 key super attack. Uh, and, you know, that's obviously going to buff UI Goku. So his defense next rotation is going to be really, really good. Um, we'll have the other beast on rotation. So we'll be able to get six out of seven links activated again. We'll have the two turn support. And uh, UI Goku's gotten a few more dodges as well. So he's a little bit more built up. So we'll be right back. And uh, again, sorry for uh, kind of the sporadicy. Is that a word? the sporadic nature of this showcase. I'll go ahead and just show the 18 key, that way you guys know. So there we go, 12.99, this is the 18 key super attack, and we're gonna cut, and we're gonna come back, and UI Goku's gonna be super buffed up. All right, here we are back on rotation again with UI Goku. We, of course, got one, one attack right here in the first slot. Uh, so far, this guy is not wanting to be attacking UI Goku a whole lot right here, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep well, I guess I could throw Vegeta in slot one. I don't think Vegeta would do four health bars right here, but I do want to get UI Goku built up more. So I guess I'll put UI Goku in this slot. So yeah, there he is at 982k defense. Again, part of that is from the Gammas giving him support. So uh, if we go ahead and divide that by 1.5. So he is at 982. It's probably easier for you guys to see if I do it this way. So 982, 260 divided by 1.5. He would be at 654k defense right here if it were not for the Gamma support. Again, 654k defense would be his stat right here if the Gammas were not um, giving the support. So that's why it is, it is just a huge, massive buff. I mean, look, even Vegeta is, is up a lot higher than what he normally is. So definitely, definitely, definitely the Gamma support is going to help these guys out a ton. It won't help Vegeta as much. Um, I Well, I mean, it still helps him. But Vegeta does get defense on his super attack effect. So, like, this is what Vegeta's defense would look like after one super attack, right? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if he's fully built up yet. Um, but if he is fully built up, this is what his defense would look like after one super attack. Because he does greatly raise defense on both of his super, at super attack effects. Uh, which is the same 50% raise. So, we're kind of just getting a sneak peek there. Uh, so you can kind of see it as him getting just like one extra super attack in in terms of his defense, which is it is still good But for UI Goku you can see that it does drastically transform him because he wouldn't get any other buff like if it weren't for this so Anyway, let's go ahead and grab some orbs for beast uh, And then we'll grab that for I'm sorry We'll grab orbs for Vegeta and then we'll just grab that for beast. All right, sweet There's another dodge that'll build us up just a little bit more We're up to a 17 million attack stat again. This is a guaranteed crit uh, because we got up to 24 key He's got a 77% chance to do an additional. He does get it. All right, very good. And then we could do one more after this, potentially. Uh, the hidden potential super attack could come in after this. We could get the triple super. Go ahead, UI Goku. No, he doesn't. Okay. So technically, we actually don't know if that was the passive or the hidden potential right there. That actually could have been either. We, we don't know. Um, it was probably the passive, just because it's the higher chance. But um, uh, we, we just, we don't know. We don't know. Anyway. Uh, so there we go. That is UI Goku. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep getting a little bit more footage here. No reason not to. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know how long this showcase is going to be because it's in like four videos now chopped up all over the place. Um, it's actually funny. I tried recording this last night whenever their EZAs dropped, but I did it. I wanted to do the EZA area first and I wanted to do the ticket video first. So it was like 4 a.m. And I think in that video I started it out and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sleep. And then I hit pause. So, if you guys want to see that, I, I could upload that as, like, a short or something, maybe. <laughs> maybe I could upload that as a short, uh, if you if you guys would enjoy that. So, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, dude, I was so tired last night. I was just like, man, I gotta go to sleep. So, 
All right, well, we'll get uh, Gamma One support in again right here, and then we'll go ahead and cut, and we'll come back with UI Goku on rotation. Again, we'll be at a even higher defense level because I think we're getting close to fully built up now. If we're not at this point, we should be getting very, very close. So, um, again, we'll be right back. All right, here we are again. We've got like the full Universe 7 rotation right here. Here we go. So Goku is at 1.288194 for his defense. That's pretty good. 1,288,194 defense. That's obviously not good against like super attacks, um, but against like all normals in the game, for the most part, that's going to be really solid. So um, plus with the like coupled with the 70% chance to dodge, that defense level is obviously very good. And that's just some of the effect that the Gammas have on the on the rotation right here. You know, I do I do think that that Gamma two-turn support is a little underrated. Um, I, I think it just does help bolster everybody's start of turn defense just a little bit more. I didn't actually look and see what Vegeta was at, but I assume he was at a pretty high defensive level as well. So here's Goku at a 20 million attack stat. No other support on rotation other than the Gamma's two-turn support. Um, like, this could be even higher if we had Krillin in 18 around, so... Obviously, this is a pretty, pretty good attack stat. Again, guaranteed crit right here, by the way. And we could triple super. We, we could have at least two more coming in after this. But we're gonna get this one. This is gonna take out God Goku. I think this is probably a pretty good place to, uh, stop the showcase right here. So, I'm gonna go ahead, and we're gonna end it right here. Guys, let me know what you guys thought about AGL LR UI Goku's EZA. Let me know if you've already got it done. Let me know what events you've been using this guy in, and let me know if you're happy with his EZA. Could he have been better? Could he have been worse? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Let's move into the breakdown. All right, this is Drew Ultra Instinct Goku Ultra Instinct. His leader skill is Miraculous Awakening or Reps Universe 7, Category Key 3, HP Attack and Defense 180%. That is a pretty solid leader skill, so if there's a Miraculous Awakening mission um, or a Reps Universe 7 mission, I definitely think that you could get this done with Double UI Goku for sure. He, he is an incredible unit, so running two of him should not be a problem. I would have zero fear getting two of this guy in the video. The only thing I didn't show in this video, by the way, was his active skill. Probably should have showed that at some point, but I didn't. We'll just get it probably in another video. It's not a big deal. Um, super attack effect is, or super attack is the perfect instinct. Greatly raises attack for one turn. Colossal damage to the enemy. 50% chance to crit. Raises all allies chance to crit by 7% for one turn. So that's that's obviously very good. The superhero team is full of effects like this where everybody's just, just sharing crit chance. So th this is nice. Just a little bit of extra crit for all of your allies. UI Goku is going to be pretty commonly a slot one unit. So having him give crit chance for attacking in slot one is pretty good. Um, his ultra super attack massively raises attack. It's 100% raise. Mega colossal damage to the enemy. High chance to crit. And then raises all allies chance to crit by 7% for two turns. So, you know, you got UI Goku and Vegeta next to each other. They both have the same effect. They're going to be giving the entire next rotation a 14% chance to crit, which may not sound like a lot, but, you know, it's just more reason not to give your characters crit. And if you've got, like, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo running around and they're giving crit chance, uh, plus on the rotation, right, like, Goku himself is going to be giving, like, a 14% chance to crit just, like, for his rotation. And then if you have Vegeta going after him, and he could actually give more. He could give a total of a 21% crit chance to his rotation if he got a triple super attack, so... Uh, definitely, like, that. that is something that is, you know, should be considered. Um, a, a nice, just 21% chance to crit to the entire rotation could be very valuable. And then if you couple that with Vegeta also getting maybe a triple super attack, uh, the unit in slot 3 is going to have, like, a 42% chance to crit just from them attacking. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, no defense, which kind of sucks, but... I, I, he doesn't really need it considering his dodge chance is so high. I, he doesn't, he doesn't really need it. Um, it, it would probably like if he had defense on his super attack, would he be the best unit in the game? I, I think there'd be a very, very good argument. I think there's honestly, like, I know everyone says like beast is just far and away the best unit in the game. And part of it's his team protector ability. UI Goku doesn't really have one. He does have the revive, um, which can be used similarly, but Beast's active skill is just going to be a lot more consistent than UI Goku's revive. But I, you know, I, I do think there is an argument to be made because this guy is so, so powerful. Um, and he's on a lot of teams, but Beast is like, the nice thing about Beast is that there's like no RNG involved with it. You just put him in slot one and you win. So I, I do like the simplicity of that. Uh, anyway. 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. 
Additional 77% when HP is 77% or more. Uh, this is kind of to help you get your revive. So if you fall below this, you lose these extra stats. So it makes it a little bit easier to revive if you get hit. Key plus 7 and 100% chance to dodge for one turn from the character's entry turn. So on your first turn, again, 7 key, 100% chance to dodge. 77% uh, chance of launching an, an additional super attack, 77% chance to dodge, additional chance to dodge plus 7% within the same turn with each attack evaded, so again, that does stack with this right here, or I'm sorry, with this right here, so after one dodge, you'll have an 84% chance, after two, you'll have a 91, after three, you'll have a 98, after four, you'll have a 100% chance to dodge attacks, so pretty good um key plus two up to 10 and defense plus 30 up to 150 with each attack evaded pretty good so just dodge five attacks and you're fully built up additional attack plus 77 percent and performs a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24 uh so this is why you know whenever we got this guy up to 24 key he was hitting these really big attack stats that that is part of the reason why so this is nice that they gave him this because that means that his active skill is always going to crit um so like that's gonna make his active skill hit a lot harder. You're gonna you're gonna have turns where like UI Goku can just like one turn enemies on his own because he'll pop the active skill and then do a triple like crit super attack after that. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, this is the revive condition right here. If you fall below 77% HP at any point in the battle and he is on rotation and you die, it doesn't have to be him, but anybody on the rotation dies, then um, you do revive. After reviving, you get a permanent 7 key and 77% attack and defense, um, so that, that's pretty good. And then the turn after you revive as well, you get another 100% chance to dodge for that turn. So, again, very, very, very good unit. These are his 200% leader skills. Uh, he's on a couple relevant teams. You know, you've got Beast, uh, you've got this guy... Um, the new Roshi, the new Roshi on JP, uh, th this guy's like on that leader skill as well. So, you know, these are just his 200%. Um, the nice thing about him is that these are his teams. You can see here he's got what, you know, 18 teams that he's on. So it's like just because he's not on like a 200% leader skill doesn't mean that you can't use him on one of these teams. This guy is going to be a premier unit to use on any one of these teams. Uh, his link skills up here are very good. Shocking speed, prepared for battle, godly power, Kamehameha, turn with power, fierce battle, legendary power. Uh, just having shocking speed, prepared for battle, Kamehameha, fierce battle, legendary power. That's going to get him to link up really well with a lot of units. Godly power is just nice for other like you know, Realm of Gods units, Tournament of Powers, a, a very good link, so nice to have that, especially because Reps Universe 7 is about to be in a really good spot, especially on Global, um, since we are getting the Tanabata EZAs early. Uh, his active skill, Strike of Fury, Fury, greatly raises attack temporarily, ultimate damage to the enemy, and it can be used when HP is 50% or above, starting from the fourth turn, so really easy condition, and it's just free damage, so very, very nice, and it will be a guaranteed crit, which is also really good. Let me know what you guys think about AGL, LR, UI, Goku, and his EZA. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I apologize for all the issues this video is going to have, and I'll catch you guys next time.